Today we will be working with the mode command. The mode command allows you to set parameters for how devices function in MS-DOS. First, we will need to add a line to our config sys file that will load ansi.sys on boot. ANSI is a relatively small file, so I'm going to add that here below the CD-ROM thread. All right, there we go. And we will save the file. Let's start with the keyboard. Using the mode command, we can change how fast a character will be repeated if you hold down a key. And it also changes how long it takes before the repeating starts. The average keyboard takes about half a second of holding a key down before the repeat starts, and usually repeats 20 times per second. To change this parameter, type mode, followed by con, which in this context is our keyboard, then the rate for how fast we want it to repeat. And I'm going to go with the fastest option we have, which is 32. However, the rate can be anything between 1 and 32, 1 being slow, 32 being fast. And that's the number of times per second the character will be repeated. Last, we'll need to enter the delay. This is how long it takes before the repeating starts. I will go for the fastest option, which is 1. That translates to a quarter second delay before the repeat starts. Both the rate and the delay need to be specified in the mode command. The command was accepted. There was no display on the screen confirming or denying that it worked, uh, although if it didn't work, there would have been an error. So now if we hold down the same key, we'll get a much faster typing rate. The main purpose of the repeat is if you are separating text with a line, the character you choose to make the line, like dashes or underscores, will be repeated faster, so you can make the line a little bit quicker. And we could do a quick test of this, and there we go. Next, we will take a look at what options we have for the display with the mode command. By default, the display shows 80 characters across, then 25 lines down. We can make the text bigger by setting the parameter for the columns to 40, or we can set the number of lines down to be 25, 43, or 50. Let's try the large text just to see what it looks like. If you're just changing the columns, we can type mode 40. It clears the screen and we have the larger text as seen here. I can get a better feel for what a full screen looks like by using the dir command. I don't mind the way that looks. I think it's a little bit easier to read on the screen personally, but of course I'm very blind, so this just works better for me. To get back to what the screen will normally look like, we can type in mode 80 and get back to the 80 columns. Mm -hmm. To adjust the number of lines, we'll type mode followed by con, which in this context refers to the display, followed by the columns parameter and the lines parameter. So it'll look something like, and now we can fit more on the screen. We can fit a lot more on the screen. You know, I like the way that looks, too. I'm used to having a rather large monitor when I'm viewing spreadsheets with lots of text, and so that would also work better in some applications. So we can also mix and match the columns and lines if we wanted to go for the uh, 40 lines. Excuse me, 40 columns, and we'll do 43 lines. I have a feeling this is going to look very awkward. And it does. It's squeezing the text like a poorly resized image in a PowerPoint presentation. I don't like that. Let's go back to this. It looks better. The mode command does have parameters that can be set for serial and parallel ports. We will circle back to that later. For now, let's look at one last feature of the mode command. That is the status type in mode forward slash status to see how the system currently understands the devices that are available to it. The error code page operation not supported on this device means that the system has not been set up for international languages, currency, or other regional settings. 